Within this video, we're going to continue working through our lesson five pulleys of the Rube Goldberg machines. Specifically, we're going to come down here and work in interface activity two, stack your learning. So go ahead and follow along in the PDF. And of course, you can follow along here in the video. So the goal of this is to get this book to actually drop and stack up on the other ones. So to do that, we're actually going to knock it over with this boot. And of course, because this is a Rube Goldberg machine, we're going to create a chain reaction where the ball rolls down it drops into the bucket, which is going to lift the boot, which is then going to knock this over so that we have a nice stack of books. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and move this pulley so that it's actually sitting between the inclined plane and these books. So with it selected, you may notice there's a lot of information going on here. And if we press the G key, as in good game, we'll actually hide a lot of that. So we can just select it. And now we will only have the gizmo. So let's go ahead and rotate this about 90 degrees. And I do want to point out, it'll be really easy to do that if we turn on our snaps up here. So I want to make sure that this button right here is actually turned blue. And now I want to make sure that I'm using my actual rotation tool. So this one right here. So I'm going to click on this section of the gizmo. I'll highlight it a few times and just click and drag. And I'm going to pull to the right hand side. And you can see now the boot is over here on the right and the basket is here on the left. So the next thing we want to do is actually move this into place. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and use our move tool. So I'll go ahead and click on this one right here. And in this case, I'm going to turn off my snaps because I don't want it to snap to the actual grid. I'm going to do that. And if you're having a hard time lining this up, I have a real cool trick. You can actually get the camera up above it and this will make things a lot easier. So you can either navigate up there or if you go ahead and click the nine key on the keyboard, we'll actually be sent right up above it. So now it should be much easier to actually get this all aligned. So I'm going to go ahead and hover over this green arrow right here, this one on our move gizmo, and I'm going to drag it to the right. So if I click and drag this over, I can kind of see that this is going to fit in between this little gap. Now I want to go ahead and move this up on screen. So I'll click on this little arrow right here, this red one. And I'm just going to go ahead and push this up. I'm going to try and get it to fit kind of right in between. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit the five key on the keyboard just to reset the camera. And this is looking like it's pretty good, but there's one very important thing that we want to pay attention to. And it's this gap right here between the box and the basket. So what I'm going to do is select my pulley and press the F key to frame it. And then I'm going to hold down alt and right mouse click and drag, and I can kind of zoom in on it. And what I want to do is basically just kind of navigate my way over so I can see if there's a gap right there. And you can see that's pretty close. So we want to make sure that there's an actual gap because if anything touches this basket, as mentioned before, it's actually going to trigger it. And even if it's this box that doesn't move, it'll still trigger it. It's just the way the code's written. So if we go ahead and just move this over just a little bit farther, so there is for sure a gap in there and I'll get a nice shot so you can see that. So cool, that should work well enough. Let's go ahead and press the five key on the keyboard and reset our camera. Now we can go ahead and play the simulation. So let's go ahead and hit the play button up here at the top of the interface. And that ball should roll down. And it kind of made it in, but it's still not doing what we want. It's not landing in the basket and the boot isn't actually lifting up that book. So let's address those problems next. To get the ball to actually fall in that basket much more reliably, we can actually turn the basket. So with the pulley selected inside the details panel, you'll find a little section over here that says side one rotation. And if we click and drag on this field right here, I can actually turn that basket. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on that field and type in a value of 90 and that'll work for that part. So the next thing that we want to do is to make sure that the boot is actually rotated as well. So our side rotation two will address that. So if I click and drag this, you can see that that boot is going to rotate. And in this case, I'm going to type in a value of 270. And I do want to point something out that this is still too high. So we need to actually lower this boot. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera a little bit so we can get to the widget. So I'm going to hold down the right mouse and left mouse, and I'm just going to move my mouse to the left hand side and then move it up. And I can basically just kind of pan over. So the piece that I'm looking for is this right here, this little widget that says side one end. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And if you're having a hard time actually selecting this little widget, you can press the T key as in tango, which will allow you to select through transparent objects and then make sure that we're using our move tool right up here and make sure that my move tool is currently using local space. And if I hover over this arrow that's going up and down this vertical one and click and drag it down, you'll notice that two things happen. The boot drops as well as this like ghosted basket. And these ghosts actually represent where this basket is going to end up and where this boot is going to end up. So you get a little visual to tell what's actually happening. 
So the next thing that I wanna check is to make sure that this boot is actually sitting between these two boxes over here. So to do that, I wanna make sure that my pulley is selected. I'll press F on my keyboard, and I'll hold down Alt or Option on a Max and left mouse click and drag, and I can kinda of see whether or not it's actually going to hit one of those boxes. And let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and move straight down again. So I can hold the right mouse and press the Q key a couple of times. There we go, and it looks like it's just a little bit too close to this box over here on the left-hand side, so we wanna move the whole pulley to the right. So to do that, I wanna make sure that I have the pulley selected, not the gizmo. I can actually just click on this boot right here to make that happen. Now my gizmo's up here at the very top, so I'm gonna grab this arrow right here and click and drag it so that that boot actually sits right between those two boxes and it's sitting below this actual book. All right, so this is our entire setup. So let's press the five key on the keyboard and let's see if this is actually going to work. So we simply just need to press the play button up here at the top of the interface and we'll watch that ball roll down. Hey, landed in the bucket. And now we have, ooh, almost a stack of books. So you'll get a little different result every single time you play this just because we're inside of a chaos physics engine. So there you have it. Now you know how to go ahead and manipulate that pulley to get the result that you need to continue on working here inside the Rube Goldberg machine project.